Eh. Last time I was in the nether, it did not look like this whatsoever. I mean, what what are those things? At, at least there's pigmen. I know those. And a magma cube. That's familiar. And these shroom lights. Kind of familiar. Oh, and the red vines. Oh, and the red stuff. Um... But pretty much everything else is, um... Yeah, not... This is not how I left the nether. I assume this is wood. Umbrella stems. I assume... I assume I can just... Yep. That's wood, alright. I mean, that's pretty cool. Umbrella fungus. Twilight ten... Ten drills. Uh... Oh, warp fungus. Okay. That, that's something. A uh, luminous... Dip, dip, dip. Nothing. And what's that? What's this? Glowstone stalactite. Yeah, this is definitely not how I left the nether. And for new reason, hello and welcome to a brand new series here on the channel. Welcome to Modded Nether Survival. We are here in the nether yet again, but this time it is completely new. It is completely different because we are running with a mod pack. About 49 mods has been installed and, well, mod pack files anyway. I'm pretty sure it says 100 something like that mods loaded in, in the menu. But uh, anyway, um, yes, we are running with a mod pack and we are also running with three data packs custom made for this mod pack as well. And um, yeah, already as you can clearly see, and already as you can clearly see, this is new <laughs> and trust me this is not all this is like maybe one percent if that there is so much new stuff to discover here so yes guys hello and welcome to modern nether survival this is basically just like our old nether survival but this time it is modded there is so much interesting stuff for us to go over and for us to cover and for us to do in this series as well because I have custom made this pack and um, there is some interesting stuff, let me tell you that. There is a bunch of bots, not only biome related, but also even industrial. We can literally make industrial machines down here. Like we, we can do industrial setups down here, automate things, we can, oh that's a path. That looks like lapis. We, we can do so, you're friendly right? You're friendly, right? Yeah, you're friendly. Hey, Subify Piglin. Hey, how's it going? Okay. Um, yeah, that is so much stuff. As you can see, there's 15 pages here of stuff. And that, yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. And I hope you guys will be enjoying this series because it will be just like Nether Survival. I am only allowed to live in the Nether, live and breathe the Nether. I'm not allowed to leave it. I'm not allowed to make a portal and go to the under overworld. Uh, I'm pretty sure we are already in the underworld. Um, not allowed to go to the end or any of that stuff. I have to live here in the nether. But this time, it is modded. It is a fabric mod pack. You can find it on my Patreon page. Link down below in the description. As well as the data packs. We have three data packs made specifically for this mod pack. One, changing some of the recipes from some of the mods. So things are actually craftable. Um, another one is a nether spawn. So we actually spawn in the nether um, and actually our spawn point is set here so if we die we actually also respawn here and another one gives me these seeds to begin with because I thought why not I thought it would be nice to have some more crops and stuff uh, that we're used to such as the carrots and whatnot and, whatnot. and also because they are used in some recipes um, for some of the mods so you know what I just thought I'd add it. I was debating whether or not to do it, but I decided on doing it. So here we are. I'm hoping this is actually going... Oh, I forgot. This is this is literally just... Okay. This has probably been extremely boring. I should probably have been exploring something while exploring, explaining all that. But you know what? We have a lot of wood now. Um, I was hoping it would start decaying now, but that's not how that works. Oh, these are cool. I wonder if I make a hoe... If they will then break faster. Oh, they actually do. Oh no, the gas. I hear a gas. Guys, I hear a gas. My arch nemesis. 
This is not ideal. All right. I think that is enough. This is, we have done enough block breaking for now. Also, may I mention... Oh, that's a guess. May I mention that my cat is actually sitting half on my mouse right now. So if I die, it is not my fault. It, that, that, okay, there he goes. Good. <laughs> oh, boy. Now, this is obviously episode one. We will be... Just starting up the series of this episode, getting ourselves situated and started. That's Kolor. That is excellent. What's this? Sin... Sinicide Ore. Right. And as you can see right here, if you have been watching my End Survival series, this is from the mod Better Nether, which is also by the developers of Better End. So if you know that series and know that mod, you know it's gonna be good. Oh, I can't break that? Okay. One of my... Bind blocks. Okay, and yeah, we also have Cinderscapes, which is another nether mod for fabric. What's this? It's Fellerite. Okay, <laughs> there's a lot of names here I'm going to butcher. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Uh, I should probably... I don't know how rare piglins are. I should probably get like 9, 18... 9, 18, 27, 36 gold nuggets right off the bat if I can. Oh, there's even more coal here. That's good. Coal, that is... Good. Yeah, I need some blackstone, which means I probably need to get down there. But yeah, this is episode... Ooh, iron ore. Nice. But yeah, this is episode one. We will just get ourselves um, situated, explain the series, maybe take a look at some of the mods that we have added. We also know Better Nether is part of it. Um, Cinderscapes and a bunch of other mods as well. Tech Reborn, which is a tech mod for fabric, which is looking absolutely cool. That is there as well as, well as others. Um, which we will cover in the near future, hopefully. Uh, yeah, okay. Blackstone pickaxe. Good. That's better. Um, how big is this thing? Okay, not big at all. I was starting to think if I could maybe make a small hut in here. But you know what? This is the low ground. And yeah, I don't I don't think I enjoy the low ground. I think I like to have a little bit of at least level ground or high ground. What's this? Metal slab. Oh, that's even cooler. What's all that stuff? This is cool. <laughs> There is going to be so much to explore here. This is going to be incredible. This is good. I'm, if, I have been very excited to start the series and finally we have done it. So be sure to leave a like on the video if you are enjoying this so far and are looking forward to future videos in this series. Um, because yeah, that would mean a ton and it would support me a ton and would maybe soothe my hate for these guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before they come any closer, let me make a quick axe here. Actually, yeah, an axe. Let me make a sword. Let me make a shovel as well, because you never know. Oh, that's you. Okay. If I if I just search for blackstone, what do we have here? We got the blackstone excavator. Oh, yeah, we have vanilla excavators. We can make a furnace. That's probably a good idea, actually. Um, we can make a furnace. We can even make some furniture. Look at that. Blackstone furnace. Oh, we have two bad blackstone furnaces. Okay, that's fine. Um, you guys are annoying me, so you know what? I'm actually gonna go ahead and leave you guys behind. And I'm gonna go ahead and go up here instead. Haha! -ha. This up here, this place seems a little bit safer. I want to check out something. Uh, no. Okay, that's fine. I believe I can even... Hold on. I believe I can do that. Yes, improve crafty stations. Which means if, say, I only had, say I had seven blocks here and I thought I had eight and, oh, I need one more. It actually stays there. And I can go and get the missing resources and go back here and place the final one. Isn't that amazing? I think that is absolutely cool. Um, anyways, I, I'm very excited about this. <laughs> Do I have pastels for Blackstone? No, it does not look like it. That's fine. All right, let's put you there, you there, and you there. Good. All right, let's find a place to settle down. Now, I don't actually know what I'm going to be eating for food around here. Um, I don't see any I don't see any, any food stuff at the moment. Uh, but I do see coal ore, which I do think we should try to get. Uh, basic iron ore? Can I get that? Oh, it doesn't feel like I could get that. I cannot get that. Hold up. I hear a skeleton. I hear a skeleton. Okay, over there. Okay. Uh, iron ore. Does it say... It says where it's found. It doesn't say how I get it. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah, it doesn't look like I can get any of this stuff, except for the gold. And get the co uh, gold. That's literally an emerald ore. Okay, that that's cool. Don't know if we can... We'll probably need the emerald for something. We'll most likely need the emerald for something. Uh, 
this is enough gold, I believe, though, to make some golden boots. Which, hopefully... Can I still not get the coal? Please tell me I can get the coal. No? What? Hey? Huh. huh. Well then. Okay. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, do we have any... Okay, we have a skeleton down there. Can I break these? Okay, and I get glowstone from it. Wait, no, I don't. Oh, I get glowstone stalactite. Can I use that? And I can use it to make normal glowstone. Okay, that's that's cool. That's quite cool, actually. I could go ahead and make some glowstone blocks. Okay. And I'm going to place that there. Because why not? So it seems I need some better pickaxe in order to start breaking these ores. That's unfortunate. Um... I guess we will have to do some research on what on earth I need in order to break those, uh, yeah, those blocks right there. Um, but it looks like we have some opening up here. You know what? I think the place that we just came from, look at all the ores, we have redstone, meaning we could do redstone stuff. Uh, I think the area that we came from, this is mostly like cave stuff. Oh, wait, I want, I, I, we gotta kill a skeleton. We gotta kill a skeleton. Come on. Come on, fight me. Fight me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we even got the bow. <laughs> Look at that. We have a bow on day one. That's cool. But yeah, I'm just kind of looking at the surrounding area. Maybe we have a fortress. We have warped forest. I'm not going to be staying in that. I'm not going to be staying in that. I'm not going to be staying in that. Uh, I think we go back to where we came from. I think we go back to where we came from because I think that place looked kind of cool. I'm going to grab the gold because, um, yeah, gold is cool. Can we make anything with quartz? Uh, quantum helmet? Yeah. yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. As you can see, we can make some stuff. <laughs> we can make some stuff. Um, right. All right. This is where we were. Now, we are getting hungry. And food is going to be a bit of an issue. You know, what if we built down and made this into like a house? Maybe not that one. But maybe this one, that we kind of broke down, but we can put some pillars in it and stuff? Yeah, that doesn't sound like a bad idea to me. Now, I think, if I don't remember too wrong, uh, I think, firstly, let me remove these. I believe that if we go here, that I can right-click this and make soul soil, which we could use for farmland. So I am going to go ahead and take a bunch of this stuff right here. Uh, since we have a bunch of seeds here, melon, uh, melon and wheat is going to be the main things that we are going to be looking for. I just realized I don't have carrots nor potatoes. Uh, did I overlook that? <laughs> did I overlook that? Um, no, because we can actually get it from zombies. That's right. Maybe I should have included that uh, in the data pack. Hmm. That's something to consider uh, for when I update it. But anyways, we can get the soul soil right here. And we can place down the wheat. And we can also... We can make a little garden over here. So let's do that, actually. Let's do that. Let's um, let's take these umbrella stems. And let us make a little bit of a shelter. Um, because I think that is a pretty good idea. Umbrella fungus. That looks like the sapling that grows this tree, actually. Uh, doesn't look right. Ooh, what does this word look like if it is stripped? Oh, that looks that looks really good, actually. <laughs> that looks really, really good. I will have to admit. Hmm. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. Now, here's the cool thing: we can actually make quartz glass by smelting normal quartz. So, I actually, I actually need to go and get some of that. I saw some quartz over here, I think, somewhere. Yep, right here. So if we get a little bit of that, if we get at like eight of that, and then smelt it, we can make quartz glass. And then, for example, because some of the recipes needed normal glass, I went ahead and made it so we can make normal glass by blast furnacing the quartz glass, smelting the quartz glass even further down into a finer, even finer version of glass, which is then going to be the smooth glass that we all know and love from vanilla Minecraft. Uh, all right, that's eight quartz. So far, so good. If we then go ahead and smelt this in our Blackstone's furnace, actually, let's move this inside. 
Let's move this inside. Let's make this home used. Uh, let's put this here and here. We do that, and I would love... I would love to have some coal right now. Uh, I'll have to look into that. We probably need, like, an iron pickaxe in order to get it. Which is understandable. So right now, then we get quartz glass, and then we can actually make uh, panes with it as well. Well, this one right here. We could also make obsidian glass by smelting obsidian and blue obsidian glass by smelting blue obs blue obsidian. Oh, that's cool. That's really, really cool. We could also color it, of course, which coloring it like light blue would actually not be too bad. Um, yeah, if, if we could actually get blue dye. <laughs> that, that's, that's the thing. It does look like, though, that if I want to make this house the way I want it to look, um, it looks like that I will be needing a lot more, yeah, blocks, <laughs> a lot more blocks. Uh, I might go ahead and do something about that. All right, I have gathered a few more resources as well as installed another mod. If I hold down shift, it will tell me if the block I'm looking at is currently harvestable. AKA, this is not currently harvestable. Harvest level diamond? Eh? Well, there's a two next to that. Duh. Oh, the, okay, let, let's try this one. Eh. I don't know what that means. Harvest level diamond, I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, obviously that we need... Oh, harvest level, something that can mine diamond ore. AKA an iron pickaxe. Okay, so we need iron. We need something that can basically mine diamond. Okay, that that's understandable, I, I guess. Um, okay, anyways, I've got a little bit more wood. Now we have an umbrella door. Is that a moon? Kind of a moon. Kind of. You know what? It works. Anyways, I have also smelted down the rest of this quartz glass. Meaning that if I do this now, we now have quartz glass pane. Which we can place down, so now we're actually safe. Look at that, that's pretty cool if you ask me. Alright, so there we go, and then I can... Uh, I don't really know what I'm gonna do here, actually. Um, I guess I could do that, and then... Do something like this. Yeah, that's not too bad, that's not terrible, we can look outside. Alright, so as you can see, my hunger is down... Quite a bit, um, but we can actually do something. So what I want to do is I want to make a little... I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five... Yeah, I'm going to take this up right here. In fact, I'm going to remove all of this inside so we can maybe get a proper floor going. Because what I can make is I can then place this down, as I already showed, but I can also convert it into soul sandstone. Which we could use for a floor, which I think it might look pretty good. Let's see. Let me try and take this out right here. Oh, we got some gold. Definitely gotta take that. We need to make some gold armor. Do I have enough? I have enough for maybe a helmet and some boots. Okay, maybe only the boots actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> Can I use this for anything useful? Another brick fireball. Ooh, that looks cool. Uh, large leather brick tile. Okay, I can make that. I can actually make that. Uh, what else we got? Netherrack furnace. Oh, that that's cool. Uh, anyways, getting off track. Uh, can I make slabs? I can make slabs with this. I can make slabs with this. That's going to save resources here in the beginning. Look at that. That's actually not too bad. That doesn't actually look terrible. You know, this is not the perfect starter house, but you know what? It's something. It is something. And then we place the door like so. Yeah, not bad. Let me update the rest of uh, this floor here. There we go. And I can actually also do this and then add it to the outsides here, around here. Outside here, around here, that didn't make any sense whatsoever. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I say things, I said, yeah. Mm -mm. I streamed for three hours earlier, okay? <laughs> you know what? That's a bad excuse, but I'm taking it. All right, now what I can do is I can uh, I can do this and I can place down my wheat seeds just like that. And over here, I can then go ahead and 
Place down two melon. Place down two. Okay. I, I can't place down the melon. Um, I can place down the beetroot, but I'm going to keep these seeds, actually, because I only have these seeds. I thought I could place down the melon seeds, but apparently I can't. Uh, don't know why I can't place them down. But anyways, we have wheat here, and actually, if I... Mm, <laughs> big brain. If I make a chest real quick, can I make a chest, please? If I go ahead and make a chest right here and take a bunch of this junk in here and let's make some armor before we leave uh of course it has to be converted into ingots first seven ingots i'm gonna make a helmet I'm gonna make a helmet uh that's gonna be good enough for now if we find to go ahead and find some some bone blocks then we can get instantly oh hello wait i can kill that guy i can kill that guy Boom! Uh -huh. Take that. Uh, yeah, if I could crawl down here, actually, that would be ideal. And there's another one. There's another one. Okay. And we have skeletons. Okay. Don't be alarmed. Just grab some bone blocks. I can't run either, so I need to be careful. Uh, hello, sir. Hello. 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 I got him. Okay, good. <laughs> Still got it. Now, I know there are other foods in the nether as well. So we will definitely have to be looking for those. And I'll have to be doing some research as well. Um, but now that we have the bone blocks, I should be able to do this. Look at that. And then place down the seeds. Just like so. And I can go ahead and look at this. Now this... Oh, hello. Soul grass. Now, I know that this is... Um, this is dried. Like this, this, this is not. This does not have any water on it, which is fine. Um, it can still grow. It just, it's just gonna grow extremely slowly. Um, so that is completely fine. But this will suffice for now, even if we have to use bone meal. Um, but yeah, this is pretty good. This is pretty good actually. I just don't know why I can't place down my melon seeds, but you know that that's what that is. And boom, and we can now go ahead and make some bread. Look at that. And I can use the seeds for probably of other things as well. Nope. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> I can now eat and I can heal. Um, so yeah, it's actually really good. We were next to a soul, uh, soul area over there. All right, guys, we now have a little bit of a shelter here. We have light, which is really good. We have a solid stone floor. We have a door out here. We have a window, we can see what on earth is going on. We have a farm here, which is actually really cool. I need to make some sort of fence, which I don't know if I can potentially make with any of the stone types. Uh, I can actually make it with a bravel tree, so maybe I'll do that off camera. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it for... That's very odd. <laughs> anyways, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. I can actually take it off. There we go. I really hope you have enjoyed, and I hope you are excited for this series right here. Now the survival is back, kind of. Just a whole lot more crazy. <laughs> so guys, I really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and enable those notifications to get notified when I upload these videos. But anyways, really hope you have enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. And again, if you wish to get the bot pack, it will be on my Patreon page and I'll probably update it uh, during this series when I actually play with it and see that I'm missing something or I messed something up, then I'll, well, go ahead and fix it when I see it. Um, so yeah, anyways, hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful one play and goodbye.